Hey everybody, today we're going to learn how to make these face shield masks using just a piece, uh, just a binding cover and your Cricut Maker Machine. Uh, so let's check it out. Anyway, so we used uh, 7 mil plastic, 0 .007 uh, inches, uh, and we used 17 by 11 inch pieces of 7 mil uh, acetate. I used a uh, binding covers. Uh, you can find those, just Google binder covers or binding covers. Um, and we used uh, two pieces. So one piece makes these three, these parts. The second piece makes two caps, and we're only going to need one. You can save the other one for your next mask. And you also need a piece of Velcro. Uh, these are perfect, um, which uh, we can post a link up for these. So here's what we're going to do. Here's how you assemble it. So you take this piece, you slide it through these holes here, and then we're going to lock that in place with one of these. So we slide this from the front, just like that, and then slide that through. And you want to make sure that you do it that way and don't slide it the opposite direction. We're going to take the other side, slide this through, slide that. So now you've got your mask. So now we're going to get, we're going to put the, the cap on. So you want to position your cap. Now remember, this is the outside of the mask here. So you're going to slide this to the outside. If you notice, that's not going to fit. So what you do is you just bend down one of these tabs. It'll bend back, no problem. And then we're going to hook it in and then slide it through and then just bend it back. And now it's in there good. On the other side, I'm going to bend down the tab, hook it in, push it through, bend it back. So that protects uh, the top part of your head. A lot of the masks don't have that. The other good thing is it leaves it open the back so it doesn't fog as bad as some masks. So now you've got your holes back here. Um, I would start with the second hole on both sides and then you can uh, change it if it needs to be tighter or looser. Um, and you want to slide your uh, Velcro this way. Just remember that you want the soft side on your head. So then you're going to slide it through whichever hole is right for you. So when we clip it, uh, this particular Velcro is designed to clip through itself. Um, I don't think that's necessary. I think it's easier just to clip it like that because it's easier to take on and off. So let's see if that was right. You can also cut these if it gets in the way if you have uh, a smaller head. So this strap is what keeps it from actually touching your nose, which you need uh, for your mask and also so it doesn't uh, create fog. And then I'm just going to clip it on the back there. Then you can adjust it up or down. I think I'm going to move mine down a little bit. About right there. And then uh, you've got a face mask. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to uh, email us. Uh, or just leave a comment in the, in, the, uh, in the video there. Thanks.